to drag out horse. No. And Dude, I know that's can we not, not talk about that, please? Yeah, I, we don't, <laughs> oh, my. Can you guys Dude. not bring up the black guy thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I mean, bitch, you know we gonna bring uh, up yeah. the black guy thing. <laughs> if you said that, the camera would turn on and be like, so you only fuck black men. What is up with that? Wait, the rocking, the rocking. I so quickly am like, <laughs> so you only, so so come on. It. That's how you know we start getting intense. We both start going serious? like mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. sober, so, no cracking our. Blood. I mean, something about the way you're s- going back and forth is just so flamboyant. <laughs> it's just crazy. Like when we walk it's into like, a rock, like, like, like kind of move. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Oh, I love I, it. I don't even. Get I can do it when I'm doing more intense stuff. I'm, I'm like, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, it just makes it all the more disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> That's, what, it is. That's like, what this podcast is. It's basically we invite people to come onto the podcast to be disrespected. Right. Yes. Like, there's right. no, there's no respect. And go by like, we, had, we had a friend. Yeah, we had a friend come on the other day and doubt it. And he, we were being. No, it, I, it, I felt, was, it felt weird. It felt weird because we were trying to be so respectful of the things he didn't want to talk about that we both ended up having an awful episode because we right. were like, we were like, well, no, we have to like, like you. It's like we barely know you. Right. <laughs> yeah. Thank so God. Thank have, God. By the way, like, there's no, there's no ammo, ammo, and so I'm not thinking about the things you're not allowed. Don't go there. Not don't only, go there. not only don't is there no there. ammo, there's no shield. I'm not like, don't say that about Liz. It's like right. I'm, I'm gonna say whatever I want, right, and, you right, know, because right. I don't. There's, you know, we're comics. Exactly. And it's like. Like when you're not thinking about saying the thing you don't want to think about, there's like an elephant in the room. Yeah, when there's an elephant <laughs> in the room, I have to talk about the elephant. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, like a very, I, I was gonna say like a very small elephant, very skinny elephant. Even a skinny one, I'm like, mm, we have to talk about. Yeah. It. Where'd you come from? How'd you get so skinny? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to oh, learn from the elephant. For sure. Tell me message. how to be skinny. I want to learn from the elephant. Actually, sounds like a book. This <laughs> 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 sounds like a really annoying girl be you present met. Present like the elephant. Yeah, I don't know. I think that there are some topics that I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. It's not even like topics that I don't want to talk about, but it's sometimes the way people bring it up that's like, okay, no, like, you know, I had cancer. And like, if I've been on podcast, I was on a podcast once. You had this, cancer? I had cancer when I was 19. Oh. And like, most people don't know that about me unless they're my friend. Yeah. So like, I don't like or to listen talk to her set. Or like no, I I don't really talk about I've it. I've never on stage. heard you say that. But then how do I know it? Um, probably because my social media, honestly. <laughs> no, I don't. No, don't no, do this. No, you have to. It's I'm not on a, the algorithm. A, no, no, I no, don't. You watch I my algorithm. I don't have a lot of people that look like you on my algorithm. <laughs> um, I highly doubt that you're literally. I, I want to say two things. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say two things. One, if you know, I had just... had cancer at 19, every single person who met me would know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, at 19, everybody knew when I met them. No, but I'm, it's almost, so lo- I'm almost 30. I, I mean, like, I used to say well, I used to be 400 Well, you would think pounds. that I was people too. are horrible. People are horrible. They want to, that like, especially comics. Yeah. Like, literally, it's just what's like the, what you what's... said. It's like, they hear that I had cancer, and they're like, oh, I got to make a bit out of this. And right. it's like, uh, no, you don't, bitch. <laughs> like, shut the fuck right. up. You also, know, like, what's the if one we're that you talking, hear a lot? I don't know, what? What's the one that you hear a lot? Like. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, oh no, I've heard, there's I've heard not. That. I've heard that a million fucking times. It's yeah. like all of them and none of them. Like there's some. They'll just like randomly say something that tries to like throw in and can't. You know, like they're riffing. Oh, it's like they suck. Yeah. Literally, this one person said, uh, "Liz, you used to have cancer and you're still fat," and I was like, "Dude." I'm like never gonna talk to you again in my life. Right. Like you know, like like literally, you just congratulations. You literally, you're so funny. You have ruined a friendship, and now I hate you. Right. <laughs> like, you know, like right, I right, hate. Right. You. I'm never. How would I not this. hate you, you dumb whore? Oh you know? my god. Are- I don't know. It's just like you can. Yeah, that's how I feel. That's why I tell all comics whenever I do a roast battle or something. I like. They're like, can I talk about that? I'm like, you can talk about it. Just know it probably could hurt my feelings. Yeah. I'm a human, and then also. I have the right to react however I want to react still. Can I right. ask? Not, but if it's on stage, it's like, I really can don't I, give a fuck. Can I ask, is, do you think that that comes yourself. from, are, are you insecure about the fact that you had cancer? Or was it such a traumatic part of your life that you were like, I can't even do funny right It now? just feels like, it was such a, tra- it was definitely a traumatic part. It wasn't like, I'm not like insecure about talking about it. Like I could yeah. talk about it in a serious way all the time. Or even like, I can take jokes about it. Like part, parts of it, like sometimes people say stuff and it is funny. Yeah. But it's just like, you have to know that you're making that risk talking about that with me right, if you're yeah. going to do that. 
Right. It's like, okay, well, it better be really funny because you could literally ruin this friendship. That's like, I just, that's you just talk like how about I it feel. It's kind of like comedy. It's like, no, because be- comics feel so allowed to talk about whatever I talk about on stage and I'm just not there with it. Uh. Like, you know, like, it was cancer. <laughs> like, I literally had cancer, <laughs> yeah. you dumb dicks. No, wait, like, you wait, know, wait, wait, like, what is going on? Let's say that again. Like, literally, one time this comic was, was like, <laughs> one time this comic was like, yeah, I get what you're talking about because it was hard for me to talk about how I used to see prostitutes. And I was like, That's you shame. don't get what I'm talking <laughs> about. <laughs> like, you literally, like, no, you don't. That yeah. is cool. <laughs> like, that is, like, something that is, like, Way more relatable. Doesn't kill people's children yeah. randomly. Yeah. Like, you can you know? stay at home, but if you stay exactly. home, you still have fucking cancer. Exactly. And prostitutes is like naturally funny. If I talk about cancer on stage, everybody's like, man, my, yeah, my dad died of that. You know, like, yeah. you never know how it's going to make everybody else feel. Yeah. I never know how it's going to make me feel to talk about. Because yeah. if it doesn't go well, then it's like, okay, first off, a joke didn't go well. That sucks. And then also, like, I was literally the most vulnerable I could have possibly been with you people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. like, that sucks. Can I so ask what yeah, kind of cancer? Yeah, it was Hodgkin's lymphoma. Whoa. But it's, yeah. Wait, you know, you know different you've, types of cancer. You've heard of that. <laughs> well, <laughs> what? Whoa! I've Whoa. heard of that one. Wow, nice. Oh, no, no, like, That's I, a credit. Let me say something. Let me say something. Hodgkin's lymphoma on Grey's Anatomy. Good episode. Oh like, that, shit! You know what I mean? Like that's good. I never saw it. Oh, I mean, one hundred percent. And also, <laughs> oh, I guess my that, sister was sick, so I, I would grew up going to children's hospitals. So oh, yeah. I know. I, <laughs> I know cancer. You know, right. Yeah, like, right. Like, like, yeah. My ex had, this is fine. You probably don't want me to say this, but he recently just got skin cancer and had to get a chunk taken out of his leg. How big of a chunk? I'm not sure. Did he go through chemo? No. Doesn't and count. I know. I know. I'm trying to do a bit about got, that, but like, it doesn't kind of count. I annoyed when I said that. I oh, like, yeah. I'm sure he got annoyed. That's like so rude to hear. <laughs> I would literally hate you. I'd be like, oh my God, shut up. But I say that because I, like I had real cancer. You had chemo. Yeah, I went through lost chemo for like a year. Yeah, I lost my hair. Whoa. Yeah. Did any of your friends try to shave their head to be like, I'm supporting Liz? All my family members did, and maybe like some of my guy friends. That's not my, not the girl family members. Like, none of the girls did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> They're that, like, no, you don't All the guys did. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. They're like, well, it's like, why would we both go suffer? I, like, would, <laughs> I would literally die if I had a cut. <laughs> I know, seriously. It's like, this, is, this would be like my cancer, like, if you did that. Also, though, I will say, like, I always think about this, um, so I'll make it a me statement because I'm not sure how you would take it if I said it about you. But like, sometimes I wish my sister died now, so that, so that like, because I'm like, oh, she was, died when I was 13. Oh, and so I'm like, I wish my sister had died now because at least I'd have a viral video that would kind of boost the career. Right, you know I mean? like, totally. It definitely made me funny. Oh my you know god! I, like, don't you wish you had the video now of like your brother shaving his head with you? No, you know I, I mean? wish I got can <laughs> like I wish if I had to get cancer and live like, you know like. I mean, right now, here's the thing. Because when I was 19, my parents were still taking care of me. I'm still on their insurance. So that was, like, good. I didn't have to pay for any of it. Like, it was all on them, you know? Yeah. And so, like, I'm not in, like, medical debt from that. But, like, if I had cancer now. You'd be the cancer comic. I'd be at Joe Rogan's club. (laughs) You know? Like, having cancer comic. I'd be like, hey, Joe. Both oh, balls. No. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, eh. <laughs> dude, they'd take me to the arena. I'd walk them on a wheelchair and shit, dude. Because you're, you're treated like that's, a champ. That's, that's the amazing. thing. You'd be a kill it's so emotional. Oh, dude, I'd be, uh, I would be <laughs> red be like, man. <laughs> I would literally, <laughs> I would. They'd roll you out. They'd be like, Liz, the cancer. Yeah, bro. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, and I'd just go on stage just be like, <laughs> <laughs> My best friend in college had cancer, and he was a six seven Japanese man, and he would just make bartenders be like, "Hey, I've been waiting in a while, and I have cancer." <laughs> he would just fuck with them. He had like just no. He was just like, "No, but I am really sick." <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, it's like it's trippy when, when it's. I mean, it's like the trippiest thing in the world when it's happening because you're like, you are like legitimately so sick, but you're still trying to be a human and like fit in, but it's just like. I don't know. It's it's weird because when you have cancer, like everybody's taking care of you like crazy. Like it's like you everybody's catering to you. Like medical stuff, like everything is getting t- catered to you. And then you stop having like they tell you you're out like they're you're in remission. Like you no longer have cancer in your body, but you still just went through chemo. So you're like fucked. Like you're yeah. so sick. Like your all of your organs are like fucked up. You can't like work. You can't go to. I can't go back to school. My brain is all foggy. Like 
everything's crazy. And then I go back to school. Nobody relates to me. Like right. nobody understands what I just went through. Like everybody's trying to make jokes because I'm 19. And yeah. I'm like How, literally you, like so anxious scary. like as fuck. Yeah. It's, What's it was, the time frame? I, I got diagnosed, I think. I, I mean, I came back from like my freshman year in college. And I was like, I had like a huge, I have a scar here over here. And I had like a huge like welt like of a uh, like a goiter yeah like a gross little fucking like cancer knot on my neck and then they cut that out but is i that still how had you to go found through it? huh is that how like you found yeah i mean out? i was like feeling sick like i couldn't shit i couldn't sleep i was sweating in my sleep constantly which is uh-huh. a big sign of that and um and i like, freshman year exactly and i was just like man <laughs> eating like, i know literally i'm like eating too many funyuns yeah, like this is crazy everybody's like oh me God. too yeah, yeah i know the, i know seriously the everybody's the like yeah home. i feel sick too and i'm like yeah it's probably just like that <laughs> yeah. like i went home and i was like i think i have strep and like they, this doctor at the primary care gave me antibiotics they were like yeah the strep test didn't come up positive but probably and they like yeah. gave me antibiotics so i was like even sicker and then uh and then, yeah, we went to the ENT, like, because my mom was like, what the fuck is that on your neck? Like, yeah. she was like, this is not good. Like, yeah. she had that mama radar. And then... Moms uh, always know. Moms always fucking know yeah. when you have cancer. That's, <laughs> that's like, my experience 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Call me anecdotal. Yeah. Come on. Like, true. it's, like, such a hard I'll statistic. This, they know when you have cancer, and they know when that girl's not really your friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is so <laughs> true. But uh, <laughs> it's like the two things moms be knowing. But uh, yeah, then I, I don't know. I, I went, uh, yeah, I went to the hospital. They were like, yeah, it's definitely this. They gave me a blood transfusion, which was like so lit. I like came I in my cool. panties. It felt so good. Yeah. I had no red blood cells. Like I had like oh. three red blood cells. So they gave me like all this. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like I can feel my feet again. <laughs> like oh, I didn't whoa. realize how sick I was, you know? Yeah, so yeah. like. I was just like feeling like, okay, this is kind of what it feels like still. And then they were like going through chemo and I was like, holy shit. And my mom, my, like my mom found out, I guess earlier than I did that I had cancer. Cause she was so stressed out about it. She was like, what's going on with her neck? She like forced my dad to ask his doctor friends or something about it. And they were like, it seems like it could probably be this. And then the doctor appointment the next day, I got told, and my parents, like, followed me from school. They came to my doctor's appointment. I was like, what the fuck? Like, you guys are being weird as hell. Like, yeah. you guys think I'm going to smoke pot on the way here, <laughs> which is true, <laughs> you know, but, like, whatever. And then we got there, and they told me I had cancer. Of course, it was, like, a movie moment. I'm, like, slow-mo, like, ah! like, everything's, like, dropping. I'm, like, and then I call my brother, and I was, like, I have cancer. Like, what the fuck? Like, you know, I didn't even know how to say it, and he was just, like, I know. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> intercept. And my mom told everybody. This is the yeah. exact. This is before the exact, me. This is the exact same thing that happened <laughs> when I came out. That's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Literally, when I came out of the closet, I called my siblings. They're like, mom already told us. That's exactly. This is the exact same Yeah. I was, <laughs> when he goes, I know. And I went, well, you didn't know. You didn't know. I, I just know. told. I yeah. Just, <laughs> Every, yeah, that's exactly about when I came out. Dude, fuck that. <laughs> that sucks. Well, your mom told everybody? Well, yeah, I, th- yeah, I mean, every- I literally, <laughs> listen, I wasn't hiding it that much. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, right. It was more like when people said, are you gay? I said, no. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't, it wasn't, like, it wasn't like I was like, uh-uh. playing football. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, as I always say in high school, I was like, it was like me with 12 girls walking down the hallway, all linked six on each side, all walking in unison going, he's not gay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Don't about say him. About, he's never. He won't. He's not gay until he tells me he's gay. They'd say behind my back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah nice. And, which is such good girlfriends. But um, <laughs> obviously, being gay is not. I mean, it's similar to having cancer. It ruins your life and it's traumatic. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody hates you for it. Wait. So, oh wow. <laughs> Ask me if I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, Ugh, yeah. Like, that's how we get along because you had cancer, I'm gay. And yeah, like, and we're yeah, like yeah. twins about that. Yeah, twins. <laughs> Fraternal. Um, yeah. Fraternal. <laughs> I ask me if I'm gay. Are you gay? Honey, you're embarrassing yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah I would be like, <laughs> yeah. just, ask me if I'm gay. Are you, are you gay? gay? You're I'd bi. rather have cancer. Are you bi? Uh, yeah, again. Um, <laughs> okay. Are you well, bi? I, at least I beat that I guess, one. You I know guess it is a choice. I guess it is, it a, is choice. a choice. It is a choice. Are you bisexual? No. Oh, a heterosexual. I'm a heterosexual. I'm, I've, I've made out with one girl. Wait, did you just say a heterosexual cancer survivor? I did. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, a heterosexual I know. survivor. I know. I wish I wish the chemo sometimes I say like chemo will change the texture of your hair. Uh, I wish it like made me gay. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. If I just come out of that. And I was like, hey, ladies, because I already had the short haircut for forever. Yeah. And yeah. like, I totally went through a looking pretty gay phase after cancer. I think you'd be a cancer. big hit in I'd the be gay a, community. I think I'd be a big hit, yeah. too. Thank Women you. Women also, and, you know, love to take care. I feel like a woman would love someone who just recovered from cancer. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, they love the storyline. For you know? sure. Yeah. yeah. Like, I didn't even yeah. have to, like, have a baby to be a mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's interesting. I wonder, I always wonder how guys feel about it when I'm, like, dating a guy and I tell them. Because they're always like, oh, wow, like, that's, you know, like, but I, I just never understand how it makes other people feel to hear that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, that's what's also weird about talking about it on stage. I, I guess actually, it's it's one of those for me. I my first thought is like, are you still going through that, or is that something in your past? Yeah. No. How old it's are you? it's been like six years. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so 25. I mean, yeah, yeah. Wait, five. You're twenty five. No, I'm twenty six. Oh, so like okay. seven, seven, seven years. years. Well, oh my five, god. Six and a half. Yeah, I was like, my last day of chemo was like the day before Thanksgiving. On. Can I say this though? Year. And I hope you know. When you finally dig into it and write the jokes that you're going to write, I know, that, right? You are going to have an electric experience in a way that I think so. Mind. But it's just, I think, I just know that it's like, it's bound to happen because I'm going to be doing comedy my whole life. I did not write dead sister but jokes until I was like four or five years in. Yeah, and then once I did, you know, and then once, and th and this is. And that was so many years away. That was from like the... twelve years after she had died. Right. So like it's like, and once I did that, I was like, oh, it's fucking. I can feel game it coming time. because I uh, can feel myself just being like more honest as a comic and just being more like genuine to who I think I am, like who I really feel I am versus what I think people perceive me as. Mm -hmm. And like the cancer thing is something that I feel like people always perceive incorrectly if they even know it, and. Um, so it would be it would be really relieving to talk about it in a way that I felt was like cohesive and like honest. You know what I mean? Yeah. So where you get to have your own narrative. Yeah, exactly. Have my own else. narrative where I feel comfortable talking about it, where I'm not afraid of other people bringing it up. But that's my thing. Like, it gives me such a like animal response when other people fuck with it. Like, it makes me literally like want to attack someone <clears throat> if they were to like talk about it negatively or like when that person said that, like that I said, told y'all earlier, like. It makes me want to like fight because I'm like, you don't even fucking know what you're talking about, you know, yeah. like, and so that's why in roast and like, if somebody says something all literally on stage, I've gotten so good about being like, they're just trying something like that doesn't even, but if you say it to my face, it yeah. makes me want to be like, I will kill you. Yeah. Like, and I just can't, I, I'm not over that. You know, that, that's such an intense feeling. I can't just be like, yeah, no, I'll just like, <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. I'm not even, I don't feel that way anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like I, I get the same way about people talking like casually about like gay kids going through it. Like, well, I was called a faggot. I'm like, dude. Yeah, like, right. Like, I'm everybody like, has I that will thing. fucking murder you. Like, we gotta, I, I, like, I don't know what it is, but yeah, everybody has to their away. one topic really where it's like, dude, I will, I will fight you. You know, like I will, I'm trying yeah. to resist the urge to get arrested right now like it's i don't know it's can, can I, well, everybody has said, that are you talking about gay people <laughs> no i'm talking about some oh, straight people okay, some gotcha. comic being like it's not that big of a deal and i'm like there's just like me wanting to protect some kid out there that i don't even know oh. it's like and and they're just getting bullied for being gay do you feel like that's because of like what you experienced no as a kid? i was the bully oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. God. I, didn't, I didn't come out until guilt. 21 <laughs> yeah, yeah the guilt what it is. yeah it is yeah like, but i also was so trapped in my own head that i i feel like there's this when when somebody's confronting me with that you know narrative i feel like they're trying to like put me back in that cage and so the feeling is like fight is like I'm not fucking going back in that cage. Like, right. I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. Definitely. That's a that is exactly how it is. It's like putting me back in the cage of like, like, it, and it's such a, it's such a like unique experience. Like, and everybody's like thing that is so personal to them that makes them like feel violent to react to is always such a unique thing, and it's such a like personal thing that it's like, I don't know. Like the cancer thing always makes me feel like. Ugh, I don't even want to go through any of this again 
and now you're making me feel negative feelings about it when I'm I worked so hard to feel like positive feelings about right, it, right, you know. Right. But it's just like it was cancer, so there's no way to avoid the negative feelings. Yeah. But it's like, how dare you bring it up? I don't even fucking know you, right. yeah, you know. Right, right. Yeah. And so it's just like. I don't know. That's that's how I always feel about it. And I'm glad we're talking about it, honestly, because it's like such a weird topic for me yeah. that it's like it's just comfortable to kind of breach into it little by little uh-huh, so that yeah. hopefully I can like actually talk about it on stage. It's like letting air and out of not let people like, fuck with me about it's it. It's like a really pressurized situation. You let a little bit out at a time that eventually it's going to be like you're going to be going on stage like taking guitar. Or, I have cancer. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. Hope- it's I really could see I could just I've never- I don't want it to be like my thing. Though. No, no, no. But. I think because I feel the, like for Tig, you're I'm not gonna have to a ten minute bit. You know what I mean? Like at some yeah. point, there's going to be a, an amazing chunk where people are like, "Have you seen her cancer chunk?" Yeah, like, it is so. good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, and, where? <laughs> <laughs> what do you see? Yeah. I was thinking your friend, like, it's right here. Like, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's like friend? yeah, it's in my lung. That's so, oh my god. Yeah, That's so bad. Um, yeah, no, I mean. Hope I, I I really feel the same. I really hope that for my like, for I think for my like mental health. Like honestly, like sometimes with the comedy stuff, it's I mean it's such an embedded part of my life that I feel like if I don't talk about it on stage, it just goes to show that I'm like not comfortable with it in my real life. You know, like right. And uh, and also it makes me so nervous. Sometimes talk talking about, about it on stage will make it comfortable in your real life. Yeah, I've tried. I feel like a lot, like in random times, just to like push it a little bit more. Yeah. But it's just like. I can never find an angle that feels true to me and true to the world. You know what I mean? Because I just don't – Every like, people who haven't had people with cancer in their lives, they have a different experience. People who, who like, took care of people with cancer, they have a different opinion on cancer. Like, if you had cancer, you have a different opinion. And each cancer is so different. You know, like, if I make the joke being like, oh, if you don't go through chemo, you don't really have cancer, it's like, that's funny. But then there are people in the audience that are like, yeah, but, you know, like, my foot got removed or whatever. It's like, yeah. fuck. <laughs> like, you know, like, like severe death it's just or too intense. I, I, I don't, I know some comics are like, yeah, I like to talk about this. Talk. I don't really like that. <laughs> I'm not really like that. <laughs> yeah. I don't want you to, like, question your emotions. I want you to be pretty much just, like, happy and laughing the whole time I'm on stage. Yeah. And so I, I, it's hard I, for me to talk about that. I did say funny. the other day, I was like, you know, there are comedians who have, like, points to make and they want to change the way that you think. I go, not me. Yeah, I, I'm, I, go, I, I am not trying to make a point. I'm not trying to do anything other than like say the funniest thing possible. Yeah, like I don't care. I mean, I do feel like I'm trying to tell the truth. Like I want yeah. all of my, all of everything on, I say on stage, I want it to resonate in a way that's like true to me and the message to be true. I don't want to just say the funniest thing if it's not actually how I feel. Like I wouldn't. I always try and avoid if I think something's really funny, but I'm like, oh, I don't really feel that way. I try and avoid that. Really? Yeah, yeah I try and avoid that I, because I heard- it just like I find that it doesn't hit. Do you have an example? Um, I don't know. Like, like I, I like with a lot of my. Uh, I recently wrote a lot of new material, and a lot of my older stuff I feel like is a lot. I mean, there's some body stuff that just kind of doesn't work anymore because I don't feel that way about my body, and I've right. lost weight and stuff like that. But then also, I find that like. A lot of the male bashing stuff, like, it was not, I don't think it was, like, straightforward male bashing, but it was just kind of, like, more being negative, and I've I've grown and just changed in my mindset, and, like, I'm not, like, young and just, like, bitter, I guess. Yeah. And so it just doesn't resonate with the audience, even though they're jokes that have worked for a long time. I- uh, and so I don't say them anymore. I have a theory, and I, it's not my theory. I heard another comedian say it, um, but she was like, it doesn't have to be your authentic experience. It has to be your authentic sense of humor. Exactly. So yeah. it's not that it's not – maybe you don't actually feel – like there are ways in the world that I'm like – I mean, things I say on stage, I'm like, I don't actually feel this way about these people. Yeah. But this is how I, what I actually think is funny. And and so I think those two can be two different things. So maybe I also your, your sense of humor has changed in the sense where you're like, that doesn't really make me laugh anymore. So why yeah. would I try to do the audience? Yeah. I definitely think that could be a big part of it. I didn't I even realize that. I definitely had points of – view that I'm like shooting at as as absurd as I'm like it's crazy to think these things and then people will not see the second line yeah and then they'll go Colton really like whatever. yeah is crazy yeah but is crazy there is a I'm way like, everyone says, everyone's running around town crazy. Colton's crazy yeah well, because I mean, you're saying that they think you actually think for, that for right? an example I was bashing my husband for not having a boat 
on stage. Yeah. And he got he it got a, brought up in a fight and I was like, you just want a guy who wants a has a boat. I was like, no one has a boat, Chip. Uh, yeah. yeah. Literally, First no off, one owns a boat. What the fuck? And I, so I was like, I was making fun of the want to want stuff. Not, yeah. Not that you don't need a boat. I lo- I'd love if you, if you had a boat, but hey, no yeah. one has a boat. You'd I'm okay. Be hap- you'd be happier if you had a boat. <laughs> yeah, like, let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be cold and like, I'd be happier boat, if you had a boat. I, if you had a right. boat, we wouldn't right. be upset. What I'm saying is, is that that specific joke yeah. wasn't about him not having a boat. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. I feel like there's a certain point I've been realizing this too, watching so much more comedy now, that like satire to a certain degree is kind of dead. Like you can't just like deadpan satire anymore because my theory is that there are so many legitimately like crazy people that actually feel in like a, a like the thing you're saying, yeah. the th- the insane thing that people are saying, like Brian Holtzman saying, they really say that right. <laughs> like they really feel that way sometimes right. and so people just don't well, like they don't even get that you could possibly be kidding because they hear that so much i think that you know? those people i think that it's less than that i think that those people do exist and we all know they exist but we don't give anybody two seconds now so if you are scrolling you're looking at just like a short you're giving them this much instead of this much and i think that people will sure. like like if, if you're on a reel and someone's like the Jews did 9-11, you're going like, okay, not for me. <laughs> yeah. Right? But if you, but if the second sentence is like, no, they did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, good joke. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> that was so good. That I'm punch. just kidding. Is that, is that side time? Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding, by um, the way. I, 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 I think what, uh, yes and yes. I, but I think more internet people will probably believe the stuff that you're putting online. I really feel like if you go to a comedy club and you walk away being like, this guy's really talking about society, I'm like, you're fucked up in the yeah. head. No, you're like, for sure fucked up and, in the head. But, but I also notice that people are clapping at things that I'm saying on stage that are like, I'm like, oh, this is satire. You know, I have to be like, no, I'm not actually like a Republican gay guy who hates women. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah. I need the men to stop clapping at certain points because they're like, we do want women to stop talking. I'm like, I was saying it as a joke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you guys feel like you do see in your own experience that like the satire thing is becoming harder to perform? Yes, but when you attack them and being like, because I will, if the, people start clapping or I can tell that the go- people are like things, they will the crowd will laugh really even harder being like yeah they're like so, oh we feel stupid i think yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah. easier to perform but oh. it's harder to get the point across yeah okay for sure yeah like you'll get a, an applause i break. just feel like so many people are so anxious these days like just in general and they're sitting in the audience and they're not letting themselves just like have a reaction they're just thinking about what we're saying right, right and yeah. it's like you think about it too hard mm-hmm. like i watch people when with like some of the more absurd acts like in Austin, like they'll watch they'll watch people like run around on stage, scream on stage, and it's like they're just sitting there and they're like you know, but it's like okay, just like they're not gonna like hit you. Like, you know, like yeah, go yeah. like just like listen to what they're saying and respond the way you would if you knew you were safe and no one was judging you. <laughs> like, you yeah. know? People just sit there and they're like, um, what does he mean by that? Like, what does he mean by Bush not did 9-11? It's like, well, dude, I also got, oh, who yeah, cares? Yeah. He, he is the one who did it. My bad. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, earlier I said Wait, somebody else. Wait, that's fucking confusing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I also think that comedians, I mean, podcasts have changed so many comedians' lives. And they get, I mean, like, we're literally sitting on a podcast right now. But I think because it's comedy has life. become so podcast heavy in the sense that most comedy fans now what they really are are podcast fans and you're really seeing a lot of newer comics who i wouldn't even say are stand-up fans i would say they are comedian on podcast fans and you see it reflected on stage but you also see that people because they listen to podcasts constantly they not then go to their favorite comics thinking they're like it's a discussion and these are ideas and oh, yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. they're not putting in like no you are going to their actual art form not their conversation exactly. talking about it right. and i think that's the big issue is that podcast it's fans are confusing in, uh, for people it's confusing i okay what so i just I, said is, is so fucking smart. It, is, it is it is and what i, I just said is so is fucking it confusing smart. for you guys <laughs> don't look in the camera do you guys get confused <laughs> when you, guys you see dill win you guys are fine you guys are fine. I thought don't you were just gay on the podcast. <laughs> she's fine. She's she's a sicka fan or something. I don't know the right word, but don't listen to her. I uh, listen to me. I I just did a uh, a headlining show where at the beginning I did like a dating show, and I was trying to then host right afterwards, but they couldn't understand that I was hosting a dating show 
And then I was going to host a stand up show and they were like, who is this guy? And so then <laughs> I changed guy does all this stuff. <laughs> right. And yeah. so then at the end, I changed shirts. I came out. It was like a completely different reaction. And they're like, oh, it's a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it took that like a costume change for them to yeah. be like, OK, new segment. And that's why I do a costume change every two hours. You, you have do to. a Absolutely. costume change. Every two change. hours, yeah. Every two Even hours. in life, change your clothes. Exactly. Do Just you, change your clothes. If you yeah. work at home, do you get, like, fully dressed? I don't work at home. Oh. I don't I don't work. You're talking about no. you don't work? Yeah, no. Okay. That's good. Um, I'm yeah. pampered. I do. I get fully dressed. I put on shoes and everything. Oh. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. I kind of love that about you. I, I Are you, like, a big self-care guy, Loki? Especially now you're sober. Yeah. And you're, like. I cold plunge every day. You cold plunge every day. Every day. Fuck yeah, dude. It's Are great. you self care? Oh, I'm. Yeah, I'm huge self care. I can't. Can you w- not tell that this is literally the hottest era of my entire life? I'm literally saying the exact same thing. I've never looked better in my entire life. I actually just looked at our old episodes because I was gonna take them down, and <laughs> we have to. And I wasn't. To. I wasn't <laughs> listening. I was just seeing it. And you with your blonde bleached hair, it looked like a European, like, Ukrainian show where it's like, welcome to the (laughs) season. I know. I I loved the era. It's it's so bad. I'm so glad that era's done. I loved it. I look different every six months. Yeah. That's good. But this is the hottest. Short haircut mustache. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, like, full adult, professional. There's no, like, there's no, like, kid kid stuff going on. Just, like, an adult... Man, yeah, yeah, a guy hey, grinder, adult man, man, fucking, yeah, hell yeah, mostly dude, mostly sucking. What's the youngest you'll go? A guy just on grinder hit me up and was like, "Are you into college, dudes?" And the, everything that I was like, "You're kind of dirty. You don't have your shit together. Do you have a? Tr- if you have a trust fund, then I could be into it. But like, I just if I Wait. didn't become a person until like." 27 you don't you don't marry college boys you have sex with them. yeah that's what i was about to say i'm like, like are you trying to date this guy it doesn't matter i'm like he can have a twin are size you bed. do you date guys you meet on grinder twin size bed you want me to fuck at the twin size bed no be i'm oh, not yeah. even using that as a i chair. forgot you don't host oh yeah they're not coming to my yeah. house right they're not you're you're not coming to my house you're Chip not coming be, to my can't house? be sad in the house i'm in and yeah. you're not coming <laughs> in my house yeah are you you're single I'm single. Yeah. Ready to mingle? And also, how, you've been sober I've for been like mingling. four years? Huh? You've been sober for like four years? Yeah. Wow. I haven't drank in four years. Whoa. In December, it'll be. What made you stop drinking? Um, oh, I'm like an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same. Like, I'm yeah. like, yeah. I'm like yeah, yeah, too. crazy. Like, I'm, I don't know. Like, I'll be real. I didn't have a similar rock bottom to, I feel like a lot of people that I hear, like, people weren't like mad at me and pe- like, you know, nobody was telling me like, Liz, like, you got to stop. But I would just always go out of control. I felt like I would just like didn't have any kind of like I didn't care to be in control with it. I was yeah. like, oh, if I'm drinking, I'm gonna get fucking wasted. Like yeah, that's yeah, just yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. So it was so all or nothing that it kind of started to feel like, why am I doing this? And then with comedy, I just started like doing comedy when I got sober and I loved it so much. And I was like, oh man, I can't. Like, there's way too much access to alcohol, yeah. and I just don't – I know that I don't have restraint over this. That's why I don't do it at home. Like, Where you did know. you start? Huh? Where did you start? Dallas, or Denton, Texas, like, okay. in a college town right outside of Dallas. When did you move to Austin? I moved to Austin, like, two years in, like, one and a half years in. Like, it was, like, the pandemic. Maybe, like, yeah, two years in. Two and a half years. Also, it's not illegal to catch your alcoholism early. I know, you know I mean? exactly. Like, That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I think it's actually, I because you know what's crazy is I remember when I was 20 or 21 telling people, like, I know right now it is not causing issues in my life. And I would say, I know that I will have to quit this at some point. And Literally. That's, and that's been something I've known for the, since until the day I quit. I knew at some point I would have to quit. And then I knew when I needed to quit. And then I drank for two more years. And then was like, for it sure. has to stop. Yeah. Well, you just like can't quit anything until you're ready. Have like, one of those pillows. Um, yeah. I just got too sad. <laughs> I was sure. so sad. I, I also <laughs> like, like hated everybody in my life. Yeah. yeah. Like I didn't have any friends. Like yeah. I was just like so lonely comedy was like my only source of friends and then i was like i don't want to fuck this up by being drunk all the time yeah and uh and my 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 both my parents are sober like long-term sobriety and because they were both really hard and then my brother both my brothers have hard drug issues but one of my brother my oldest my older brother got not my oldest but one of my brothers got sober like and he's been sober still like he still doesn't do anything like but he doesn't smoke weed or anything like Mm -hmm. and um when he got 
sober. Like, he was way worse than me. Like, he was total party guy and all that in college. And, uh, you know, just, like, picking up drinks. And I feel like guys, I mean, girls can go just as bad. But guys, they're safer. So you can just, like, really rage. And um, they're so tough on. They're just no y'all are so tough on your bodies. Yeah, exactly. There's yeah. no men live hard. And like women, just like internalize it is just like that Tom stuff Brady so commercial hard. About the razor, I've never seen that. I don't like Tom look. Brady. I fucking hate him. Yeah, I, but I've always hated him. You know what I mean? Like I've, I just think he's still like not even. I'm not even like sexually attracted. You know what I mean? I know yeah. that. I knew that that was the only reason why. Uh, you yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, well, well, sexually I'll tell you this right now because dude. only like, straight, men, only straight men think that he's hot. Straight men will be like, well, obviously Tom Brady's like so. You know what I mean? And you're like, it's what the does same this guy like, look? Can I like look him up? Yeah. I don't even fucking know. I think I know he's or, like, especially Ryan Reynolds. When, yeah, oh, I, it is guy. funny the guys that the straight guys will be like. Well, I bet you like him. I was like, he's no. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's <laughs> yeah. fine. Are you kidding? No, I will say the other, like, I was dating this guy for a second. And what's up with men always trying to show me Creed? They're <laughs> always trying to, Like, seriously, like, I've had, like, five dudes in my life be like, you got to watch this. It's because it's our generation's <laughs> Wait, rock. Like, I don't care. Sample. Like, it's one of those movies where I'm like, okay. It's the next generation rock. Oh, I thought you meant the band. No, she means. No, the movie with Michael B. Jordan. And Rocky. It's and a here's Rocky the thing. I, I said that once to a guy, and they said they're probably trying to horn you up with Michael B. Jordan. And I'm like, you know what? Now that I think about it, every time a guy has shown me Creed, I get fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Because I'm like, I first off, don't care about this boxing movie yeah, at right, all. Right, right. Great choice to get me out of the fucking TV zone. And then Michael B. Jordan's hot ass He's is right gorgeous. there. He, that is a hot guy that I think every dude also knows is just like crazy hot. Yeah, and all yeah. women know is crazy hot. There's a. Uh, well, who are you, who I, I I looking really at? Hate you were looking at Tom Brady. Okay. And like I, even I Giselle, I think is not a girl for me at all. I will. I I get free passes to live sports games. I will not go. But the new Lakers show. Tom on Brady. HBO. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I'll go back. Is like so ugly. One hundred percent. Say it into the camera. Like Tom Brady <laughs> is literally one of the scariest guys I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. He looks like he did Ozempic and it just took out his face fast. Well, I think he's one no, of those people. No, I'm trying to like, figure out who he looks like to me. I think he's one of those people that like doesn't eat. He just like eats like um, you know those guys who are like, here are my three thousand pills I take a day, and this is what instead of food. I think Tom Brady's like one of those. Guys. Am I one of those Didn't guys? he like give his son a I weird would. kiss? I think I'm one of those. Yeah, guys. but that's fine. You know it what was I mean? fine. Yeah, you. He, he, I don't know. Now that I see how weird looking he is, I'm like. No, it's not fine. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I was kind of like, yeah, you can kiss your son, whatever. And now I'm like, no, not if you also, like, chop off their pinkies and, like, uh, yeah, eat yeah, them yeah. for he fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a little creepy. So creepy. Yeah, I've never been attracted to Tom Brady, but I have been. Like, you know when you're <laughs> – maybe not you, but you know when you're you're gay and you're a kid Wait. and you think that the – the guy that you like is because he's a hero, but then later in life you're like, oh no, you just were sexually attracting. You just didn't have the words. Yeah, Brett Favre was that man for me. I don't know who that is. Brett Favre was the Packers quarterback, and what a stunner! That was Ben Affleck for me. Can you show ben, him a picture? I'm, I thought Ben Affleck was. The oh my god! Please show him a picture. Of oh my Favre. god! I would like fuck Brett Favre before I would fuck Tom Brady. I would fuck. Brett are you joking? Favre yeah. Now. Yeah. Uh, are you yeah. joking? I think he's like sixty. Dude, for real. Are you, this is you, like you definitely the kind of white guy that I'm into. Huh? Would you hook up with sixty year olds? Yeah, I've done, I've done it. Same. I'll do it again. Uh, I have Dude. no problem, especially if they have a boat. <laughs> yeah, Colton and I fuck old. You're do you fuck old? Them. I've never fucked old. Really? Never fucked old. Never like older than like thirty something, like thirty two, thirty five. Whoa. This is yeah. I'm in. Now. Yeah, I'm in. No, I'm in. <laughs> Yeah, no, like we already are all in. We're all in. Brett Favre, come down here if you want to get absolutely this is him as a, now. As a young guy. Oh yeah, I love that all American. <laughs> <laughs> he loves America more than anybody I've ever met. I, you love the all American look for real? I love the all American look. Okay, wait, explain that a little more. So I have no 
type. Like I had, there's a many different looks that I like, but one I flavor that. that I love is all like, American 1980s bully football player crop top fucking thing. You know what I mean? Like I, ooh. I love that shit. A little bit of long hair, masculine, strong jawline, gonna fuck the shit out of you and look like shit at 45. Whoa. Give it to yeah. me. Revenge like, of, I love it. I always had a problem watching Revenge of the Nerds because I was always like, yeah, but all your bullies are really hot, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know that movie? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know that movie. It's yeah. fine. I More guess like, I'm just a little like bit. Like remember old. the Titans. Little... <laughs> That's not the 1980s. We said the 80s. Whatever. Well, that was based. Whatever. In, that was based in the 60s hey, Liz, or 70s. We're kind of running out of time. Are we? And I just want to make sure that we. Well, we well, we did give you our kind of running out of time. Are we? I just want to make happening? sure that we. We we just <gasps> give you a platform to talk about anything you're coming up, anything you have that you're excited about. I want oh. I want to talk about if you're dating and you want to talk that out. Did you like, talk about like ma- having masculine energy on stage with um dating? Yeah. Or is that something that you're actually dealing with or something? Oh yeah, I'm constantly what's dealing my, with what's that. What's my energy? Your energy? Yeah. I mean, pretty gay. And then That's and then cool. what's my I don't know energy? How and then, and then what's my energy? Your energy is like also gay, but it's like more like like um Oh my god! Yeah, how? Let's talk about this because you guys are definitely two different kind of gay guys. Yeah, let's talk about it in my like possibly a little homophobic, We're like homophobic. like heterosexual, just. Um, not even homophobic, just ignorant. Yeah. Let's just, yeah, I'll talk about it like this. Honey, we're all ignorant on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay like, there's okay. no one who isn't ignorant. Okay, good. Yeah. What I is this about, podcast? Me like I that. know about Iran. You that know about. Okay, yeah. Barely. We can tell you run, dude, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. No, no, no. Because- <laughs> The country. You're obsessed with your body. The country. That, the country. That's what you are. You're like the gay guy that's obsessed with your body. And like, he's the gay guy that's no, like on I Twitter. Read, I read. In the country. <laughs> I'm sorry. Iran. The country. Oh. <laughs> Were you joking or are you being serious? No, joking, you I, fucking idiots. Yeah, <laughs> Were you yeah. being serious? Oh, yeah. my God. We can like, tell this you. new setup is how the podcast is going to get famous. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the, the no, setup of having Liz here. Well, Ooh. actually, you are going to become a repeat guest. I feel like I love. I we really, love anyone who talks. As yeah, much next as we time talk, we like just. This. I love it. It was just so funny that I was like, yeah, I just like don't want to talk about the cancer thing. <laughs> And then, like, oh, it was like Liz, 30 Liz, minutes Liz, of the Liz, podcast. Liz, it's gonna be clipped out. <laughs> of course. Of course. Okay, no, wait, wait, but wait, I was what? really glad to talk about it. I feel so insecure because the last time I talked about it was that time somebody said something horrible. So I'm like, how about this anxiety about talking about it? But no. this went well, this right? Cra- Everybody did, agrees. Wait, but can we go back to what our energies are? Okay, yeah. Well, I, I kind of clarified. He's like the gay guy that works out, and you're like the gay guy that's on Twitter. No, he but actually works out harder than I do. I go to the gym six days a week. Yeah, but you I know, know what I'm... It's <laughs> like... <laughs> you know, it's yeah, like it's not but he's like tan. <laughs> Wait, but what did you mean by Twitter? Did you mean annoying? No, no. <laughs> No, yeah, honestly, he runs. That's and you're what I on said. Kind of I'm quick. like, I'm a fat peg who's just like trolling the internet. Like, like what? Por- like we could tell you live in Let Portland for a little bit. No, you're definitely. D- it's not the internet troll thing. Yeah, like it's not like that. It's more like um, I'm making a lot of jokes. Yeah, exactly. It's just more like it's like, oh, this bitch got something to say all the time. You know, like that's more of the kind of gay guy vibe that I get from you. And right. it's like oh, my this with is- this. It's more like, it's like. Colton, I don't know. I I actually can explain it. Colton is out there having sex with some of the hottest people in the world, and I'm the gay guy that runs in and goes, "You're never gonna believe what just happened to me." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Colton's like the gay guy that I would like watch on Bravo have a life, just like watch your reality TV show. Yeah. And then like you're the guy that I would like read like recap the show. Like yeah. you know, like I'd be like both of y'all's biggest fans in different platforms. That is. Thank you. That is, I actually. I, Liz. <laughs> You've been incredible. <laughs> You've been incredible. <laughs> we do have a You've final question. What the um, fuck? So yeah, so it's the only. Obviously, the podcast is about nothing, but we, you know, this is really important. So really think about it. Um, if you were a gay man, would you rather have sex with me or Colton? I only top. He only bottoms. Okay, so like, if and I were no a gay man and I have a hurt. penis, and my penis is huge. Yeah, and you're a man. And I'm a man. Yeah, and it's a preference. Yeah. Because if you're Who would I fuck? Too big. But here's the thing. I can't even like answer as a gay that. man cuz as a gay woman, I mean as a straight woman. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, Taylor Swift. Okay. okay. Start over the podcast. <laughs> no. Um, as a gay woman. This is this is my debut. <laughs> as a gay woman. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 
that's how, by the way, this is my impression of every woman Would I in rather Portland in a, hetero, in, in a heterosexual relationship. They're like, um, as a gay woman who's never dated a woman, um, and in a heterosexual relationship, here's my opinion. Cut that. Yeah, no, that is cut no. That. Don't cut that out. Put that on my voicemail recorder. That is exactly how I feel. But um, that's how I felt this entire put that podcast. In my by voice the way, recorder. The voicemail recorder. What the hell? Voicemail recorder. Sorry, sorry. I didn't know all the fucking eighteen thirties references you were making this whole podcast. <laughs> That's something that still exists. Uh, <laughs> don't remember. From hey, you I guys remember it. from the nerds versus the athletes? <laughs> <laughs> Revenge of the nerds. There oh was yeah, like ten of them. That's okay, hilarious. okay. Well, sorry to bring up. Sorry to bring up that trauma. <laughs> yeah. Okay, who would it's I rather probably. fuck? Um, here's the thing. I would like. I would rather, uh, this Just is say. hard. It's like I'd rather fuck Colton because it'd be like such a, it would be like the experience, you know? Sure. But then I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it would be like, oh my God, this is like, I'm, yeah. like, it's like, oh, I'm fucking I'm, gay kin, you yeah, know? Yeah, like, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. like, fucking Colton, the experience. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. But like, I don't know. I'm like more of a monogamous kind of person. And with Dylan, I'd be like, Let's just like be together forever, you that's know. So sweet. That's sweet. I know, not, you know. That's not the first person to say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And I is. feel like honestly, I feel like Dylan would be more of an attentive lover. Lover. Yeah. You know. Oh, thank you. As I, Colton, I, you Colton cut this would out be if you like, want. Colton is on bottom. It's all about me, kind of thing. Literally, I've n- the hardest I've ever laughed in this. Sorry, will end or whatever. <laughs> Dead fish. Dead bottom. Fish. The hardest I've ever laughed is that recently you on stage talking about what you want in bed, which is for you to be bent over and some old dude behind you going. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was on the ground when you said, thank you, thank you. <laughs> like, I go, I'm just like, getting so yeah, much pleasure just, from hearing yeah. that. Wow. I, I that relate too. to that really hard. Yeah, I'd have to actually, let me change it. I have to fuck Dylan. Because we would just be laying, looking at each other. Too like, bottom. Do something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or we just be like, you are so pretty. Like, all yeah. night, and then we just oh, come. Sw- yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Actually, no, I'm back to Golden. I like that idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just compliment <laughs> each other until we just come and never touch each other. See, this is <laughs> why it is, this is like being gay. I guess I have to choose both, and that's why you're not giving me a monogamous in this. In this oh, yeah. If I were gay, that's not why I wouldn't be monogamous. So, wait, are all gay men not monogamous? Do we have time for this? We're no, monogamish. they're monogamous. Monogamish. I don't know. I'm very open to like being closed or open. I I, I really couldn't imagine being with someone for like um twenty. I mean, really at all. <laughs> say, but say, say say a year, ten years, you okay, and not have sex with anybody else. Oh yeah, uh, I, yeah. Then I'm definitely I mean, fucking Colton. There are it's like if I'm going for just like a fun time, I'm definitely fucking Colton. Yeah. Sorry. Are you kidding me? You're destroying our life because I had sex with one person <laughs> after ten years. Yeah. <laughs> that's and that's straight love. And that's <laughs> 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 I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Liz Black's been on the so podcast. Thank you. Give you out your handles. I cleared up all the stereotypes here. Um, oh, I'm covered in Liz all over the internet. That's a great name. You have a great comedy name and a cover. Uh, covered, covered in, in Liz. Liz. It's like covered in jizz, but my name's Liz. You can also find me it's on Bimbo and Cash App on no, that. Don't promote You can find Bimbo's. me on Bimbo and Cash App. That's whatever. Sick. It's literally just the same exact thing under my... Uh, but... <laughs> And um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm. Follow me on Instagram. I feel like my Instagram is the coolest place if you want to really experience my comedy. Hell yeah, and I'm at Dylan P. Carlino, Colton Dowling. So at some of this is bad on every single platform. Follow and us and like and subscribe. Write a review. Write a too. review. Oh my for God, God sakes, Jesus! Can you please write a review. I know some of you are watching every single fucking episode, and you can't write one fucking review. I know I'm not. Whoa. I know. I, I, I'm Whoa. sorry. I'm sorry. Come to our house. We'll make you muffins. We love, love you. Yeah. Bye. So, this is bad. So, this is bad. So, this is bad. So, this is bad. We're to drag out horse. No.